Hi and welcome back to Leslie Crafts and welcome back to week two of Crafter Ideas with me and Lottie. Um, number two for me is this little um, desk tidy. You can have a hat, either have a calendar on it or you can just have it with uh, an embellishment on it. And these will fit the little Wilkinson's um, notepads in quite nicely. So, and I think these will look really nice on a stall, um, especially with the choice of either just having the embellishment or having a um, calendar on it as well. And you can put a pen in there as well if you wish. Um, so it'd be a nice little gift set for everybody. So I'm going to show you how to make one of these and also how to cover that so it ties in with your paper pack um, and these are two from my um, kit I've made myself I've made four in total but I will show you them in more detail when I do that video unless it's already up so today I'm just using two pieces of generic card I got this from my local craft shop ages ago and also I'm using the mystical um, 12 by 12 paper from the range um, so I thought you know have a have a look and see which ones it will go nicely with um, I will do my I'm waiting for a die to come from China to add to the front of this one um, so I will show you that when it comes in. So I'm just trying to work out which one would look nice on it. Um, I think I might even try and do a traveller's notebook in this. I think it's really nice paper. And I think I just I know which die I'm, I've got come in, so I want like a fairly not a plainish pattern, but one where it will stand out. And I think I might go for this one here. So I'm going to use that pattern there. So I'm going to put that to one side and pick up my papers. And just put this back very quickly. So there's loads of ideas on the internet, on YouTube, the craft fairs and things like that. I have learnt over the I have learnt over the years that um, what the Americans do and what sells over here is completely different. Um, so just bear that in mind when you see all these Americans doing it because they are completely two different markets and I've learned my mistakes so first of all you need to get your card and you need to take one bit of your card and you need your scoring sorry your paper trimmer and you want to cut this at ten and a half and then you want before you cut it again you want to score this so you want to score it at four inches Eight inches nine inches and at ten inches and then you want to cut this down to three and three quarters then again at three and three quarters Now 
There we go. Just put that to one side at the moment. And then you want to get your other piece of paper and you want to cut this at seven inches. And at four and three quarters. Just leave, put that to one side because you don't need that bit. With the first bit you've cut off, you want to cut that at seven inches. Oops. And then it should be four and three quarters. So you've got your two pieces of so you've got your two pieces. So you can get two out of a sheet of two sheets of A4. You can't unfortunately get them out of one for both the same sheet because uh, this, this is an American unless you've measured unless you've sorted the measurements out, it's an American styling. And of course their paper is that's slightly that's half an, is half eight eight and a half so and were not so you want to score it on the long side at four inches then four and a half then you want to turn it around and score it at half an inch and then turn it back around again and score it at eight and another half an inch so that's all your scoring and your cutting done. And while we still got the cut out, we'll cut out the paper. So you want the pa so you want your first one at just bear with me, I'm just trying to see if it's directional before I tell you the I think you need it at three and a half. Just bear with me. Three and a half. Yeah. So we'll do it to three and a half. If it's wrong, I'll apologise. And my um, paper trimmer does not like that. So we'll try it on the other side. So three and a half. Because I've, I've done lots and lots of cutting, so I'll just do it really, really lightly. So three and a half, back down to one side, and then you want it at three and three quarters. It looks about right. And then three and three quarters again. And then you want it at two and a quarter, and you want that twice. I've just been cutting lots and lots of card, and obviously need to sort out my blade. So this little bit here, I'm just going to score it, and then I'm going to get my pair of scissors, and I'm just going to cut off just a really tiny amount there we go so that's for your base of your box I haven't done the measurements for the notepad yet but we'll come to that one in a minute so you want to score all your score lines on both bits and again you can do your um calendars on here but I've, i haven't got any more calendars handy so and i think these will look nice with the die i've got on order 
and just for paper. And I think, you know, unicorns and that's still going to be in. There you go. So I suppose to fold it and scored. Do a bit of pieces of cardstock. one on this side. Gotta be careful on this one because obviously it's not scored all the way across. Okay. Do that. And I'm just gonna burnish on the other side because I won't be able to lose showing. Now, when I watched the video on here, I must have fallen asleep um, because I can't remember how you do one step. So I just do it my own way. So, but, yeah. So you just want to cut up all these into your two middle bits of the card. So, just do it like that, and then you need to get your double sided tape. So I've got some here, and then you just want to put it on these two tabs when they get folded in, just like so. Oops, lazy. Like that. The same again on this one. And then you want to put tape on these two outer bits. Is that right? So that, seriously, this is where I got kind of confused. Now you want to put tape on the inside. There you go. Few bits on the outside bit. There you go. So you want tape on the inside. There we go. And then you want to pick up your bits of paper and you want to um, put tape on them. Just like so. So you're sort of doing like a little production line of you cut your score and you cut in, you stick in. So it just makes life back a little bit easier and quicker for you, especially if you're going to be doing, you know, quite a few of these. Um, I think I'm going to do between 10 and 15 of them. And whatever doesn't sell, I'm going to send off in happy mail. I mean, you just want to put tape on your um, bottom little flap. Now with these, we are going to make them up. There we go. So we'll get these two bigger bits. I'll just pull off the backing tape and then we're just going to stick this down. Just like so. Do the same with the other bit. Be smaller bits you want it on this one but you want to make sure that you get your direction correct so 
I would do it so you can see it. I'm just going to trim that little bit off. This was a bit bobbly. Again on this one. Just want to make sure that your direction is correct. And there we go. So that is your base of your box coming along. Before we go to the next level. Next level, before we go to the next step, I'm just going to put some tape on the front. Now, this is going to hold your box to your card. So you want very strong tape. <clears throat> so I just make sure I have quite a bit on them. These are all nicely burnished down. And there we go, and then we can start putting the boxes together. So first of all, you want to take off all your tape. And then you want to stick your little bit onto your big flap, lining up the bottom edge of your card. And there we go. And then you want to line up the other tab to the back. Same with this one. Just put your bone folder in there just to make sure that it is adhered. See what you mean? These have to come off, but one, I can't find video again, and two, I really can't remember who it was. So <clears throat> I just do my way, and it seems to work. Seems to work okay. And there we go. That is your pocket for your unicorn. So we'll just do the next one. And again, take off all the tape. And again, once my die comes for this, I will show you how I decorated the front of the box. So you want to make sure that your back flaps hit and are on square with your bottom flaps there we go and again take your front of your box and line it up and then the other side should just line up together just make sure that it's all idea down <clears throat> just like so and then just snip these edges off. Just like so. Now we're ready to put these onto the box. Now I stick this down first. I just find it easier. And literally just line up the bottom it just like so and then just make sure that it's well stuck down 
and then you can take off the tape. Here. And then you can get your box and this should more or less line up exactly where it is. For some reason my, my top of my box is a little bit bigger than the bottom of my box. Never mind. So line it up as best as you can. Be careful before you really, you know, so burnish you from the inside to make sure that it is absolutely as well geared down as possible. And that is it. So these will look really nice in little girls' rooms or even if you're an adult and you like unicorns. You can make it in any theme whatsoever. You can have these as little thank you gifts, little teacher gifts. I think most teachers like stationery that we can use for over year. So... Like that, take off all the back in and then carefully line this up. There we go, and press firmly down so there's no way that's coming off that stick up. There we go. So that is your basic box done and like I say you, you, will, you can put a calendar on there and have it as a desk tidy or you can just have that with a pen in there so that is the two unicorn ones so we'll, we'll show you how to decorate this pad here now I'm just going to switch it out I don't know what that was I'm just going to switch my paper around so that it is in inches. Don't do centimetres. So my pad is three and a quarter wide and four inches tall. So, that was my stamp block. So we can chuck, so we can see another piece of paper. So I might go for the dark blue unicorn here. Okay. So I want this here as three and eight quarter. This on this one you wanted the same size as your top of your um, same size as your pad by four but because you want to have it a little bit over I'm going to do five and I'm going to do two so I can have one that matches as well. So that one hasn't gone all the way through and I didn't want to rip it. I will be changing my blade. I didn't realise it was that bad. But some papers are different from others. So keep all your scraps. As you know me, I like making stuff out of them. So that is that there so you can do this two ways just going to check that fits so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put tape on my paper I'm going to keep that cover on just like so And 
furniture is down really, really well. Just like so. Now I'm going to take off the tape. And there we go. And I'm going to line this up from the bottom edge. Carefully let it go down, making sure that one of the edges is correct on there, and then burnish up it down. And then I'm going to turn it over, burnish up once, and then turn it over again. I'm as I Turn it and, and putting it down and pulling it so it's really tight. And then that is in front of your notebook cupboard. How easy was that? And that will just fit in there. Just like so. And you can put a pen in to finish it off. And then you can have a gift set. Which I think is quite a nice little present you can give. So these take no time whatsoever to make. I've made quite a few using my scraps of paper from my kit. So, like I say, these are these are my little desk holders. So. And again, you've got lots of different ideas and one, how to make these and two, how to decorate them. And like I say, once I get my die, I will show you how I decorate the front of the unicorn ones as well. OK, thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again um, very soon. Don't forget to check out Lottie's channel for what she's doing today as well. Come back next Wednesday for another craft fair idea. Um, check out my other videos which are coming up over the next, you know over the week and um, if you like what you see please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed I would like to welcome you to the family and um, yeah have a um, good good day and uh, we'll see you very soon okay bye now